it's your misfortune and not my own. Every tie I owe, get along, you little doggies. You know that the prairie will be your new home. And now for the adventures of Lightning Jim. Behind the small jail in the frontier town of Fort Anderson, a man crouches in the shadows under a barred window of a jail. Joe. Hey, Joe. It's me, Joe. Pete, where'd you come from? Happily. Heard you're in jail. Figured you might want some help. Yeah, I sure do. What are you doing in here for? Smuggling guns to the Redskins. They cut me red-handed. The troopers? No, nah, it was that blame marshal, Lightning Jim. Lightning Jim, man? Yeah. As soon as I get out of this jail, I'm aiming to get back at him pronto. Watch your step. He's the toughest law badge on the plains. Yeah, I know. Give me a gun. Sure. Here you are. Good. I'll be out of here in a jiffy. I'll meet you off the fourth trail by Snake Creek. <laughs> What's trouble, Whitey? You, you know that fella you caught smuggling guns to the Redskins. You mean Kansas, Joe? Hey, oh, that's the Yeager. Well, what about him? He just broke out the Yeager. Broke out of jail? Hey, oh, somebody must have slipped him a gun. He held up the guard and got the way. When did this happen? Hey, about an hour ago. Come on, Whitey, we got work to do. Let's go thunder. Yes, the bandits and outlaws of the old western frontier both feared and respected the skill and courage of United States Marshal Lightning Jim Whipple and his deputy, Whitey Larson. Through their thrilling adventures, we relive the colorful days of the old west when desperados and hostile Indians roamed the great American plains. Kansas Joe was a bandit who divided his time between robbing stagecoaches and smuggling guns to the Indians. He was arrested by Lightning Jim... And then, with the aid of his partner, a bandit named Pete, he escaped from the jail in Fort Anderson. We join the marshal and his deputy now on the trail north of Snake Creek. See, Lightning, now what makes you think those eagers would head in this way? Just a hunch, Whitey. Deep wolf paw and his tribe are somewhere north of here, near Cottonwood Gulch. Your wolf paw has been giving the troopers plenty trouble, I know that. Yeah. Been trying to stir up the other tribes to attack and rob the white men. Sure, seems like Wolf Paws always looking for a fight. See, what's this got to do with the Kansas Joe, though? Well, Wolf Paws been getting his guns and fire water from Kansas Joe. He was taking guns up to him when I caught him. Oh, yeah. So I figured that maybe Joe would head for Wolf Paws' camp to hide out. Yeah, I can follow that, all right. Uh, but see, you can just walk into Wolf Paws' camp alone and ask the chief to hand over you. No, we ain't gonna do that. But we can do a little scouting to locate Wolf Paws' camp. Maybe find out if Joe's around there. Yo, and then we can get the troopers and lick the whole bunch. <laughs> Why do you sound like you itching for a fight? Yo, I just want to get my hands on that Kansas show. Why, he ain't got the nerve to do his own fighting. Sells fire, water, and guns to the Redskins, and then he lets them do all the dirty work. Whoa, Thunder. Hold on, Whitey. Joe, put him in it. That sounds like a bat. Yeah. Maybe them Redskins is attacking the troops. Well, we'll soon find out. Come on, Whitey. You wanted to fight? Go, Thunder. <laughs> Jim! Oh, hey. oh, 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 oh
Lightning. Here comes Captain Flag. Yeah. Howdy, Captain. Howdy, Lightning. Glad to shoot and come over to help you out. Well, I'm afraid you're a little late, boys. Who are they, Captain? A uh, party of Chief Wolf Paul's redskins. Wolf Paul, eh? Yeah, we were heading back to Fort Anderson. He stopped to make a camp. Without warning, they opened fire on us from all sides. How many was there? Oh, about 50, I'd say. We caught 10 of them, and I don't know yet how many of them were killed. Yeah. The rest headed north. By that golly, is. that sounds like you had pretty good fight. Yes, yeah. yeah, it was plenty hot while it lasted. I'm not sure whether we surprised them or they surprised us. So? I think it was a hunting party. They had a young Indian boy with them. Well, if he had a boy with him, it wouldn't be a war party. What happened to the boy? Well, we haven't had time to check up on the wounded yet. So I don't know if he was shot or got away. Well, I'm hoping he got away. I don't mind shooting a man, but not the kids, even if they are redskins. Well, that's the fortune of war. If those red devils had any sense, there wouldn't be any killing. But you can't trust them no how. Well, Captain, there's good Indians and bad ones. Same as there is among the white folk. You know yes, that. Yes, I know. But as far as I'm concerned, they're all bad. They come to our fort and smoke their peace pipe, tell us they want to be our friends... Then the next day, they attacked the troopers and put on a scalping party. Yeah. By the way, what are you doing up here? We're trailing a chap by the name of Kansas Joe. I caught him smuggling guns to Chief Wolfpaw. Any white man who smuggles guns to the Redskins ought to be shot on the spot. I agree with you, Captain, but the law says they got to be given a fair trial. Well, Kansas Joe escaped from jail at Fort Anderson, and Whitey and me is after him. Well, if you catch up with him, I hope you don't bring him back alive. <laughs> Sure lucky you come along when you did, Pete. Yeah, got a hold of some guns at Abilene, and I know you could get rid of them to the Redskins. Sure. I've been selling guns and firewater to Chief Wolf for. Doing right well out of it, too. <laughs> that Lightning Jim caught up with me. Blast his hide. I've heard a lot about Lightning Jim, but I ain't never seen him. They say he's lightning fast on the draw. Yeah, there ain't a man on the plains can handle shooting irons like he can. But like I told you... I'm aiming to get even with him one of these days. How are you going to do that, Joe? Well, I ain't figured that out yet, but I will. Well, take my advice and steer clear of them. No use to play with dynamite. How far is Chief Wolfall's camp from here? Oh, about ten miles north. Better cross over this creek here. Whoa, what's hold the up, matter? Man. Keep quiet. Look over yonder across the creek. Two riders coming out of them trees. Yeah, I wonder who they are. Jumping Judas. It's Lightning, Jim, and his deputy. I got Jim. Are you sure? Yeah, it's him, all right. Well, we better clear out of here. No, no, no. They hear us. They can't see us if we stay behind these trees and rocks. We can drill them. No, no, no. They're out of range for safe shooting. We're going to watch and see where they go. Woo, boy, woo, thunder. You think we better cross over here, Lightning? Well, might be a good idea, Whitey. Water in the creek looks shallow here. Hey, it's something in the bushes. Reach for the sky, whoever you are. And come out of them bushes with your hands in the air. Quick! Not you want them. Don't shoot, white man. They come. You don't bring him in. That's Indian boy. Yeah. Little bear wounded, white man. Help, little bear. It's all right, son. Put your hands down. We ain't gonna hurt you. Right, Gally light in his arm. Miss Bleeding. Yeah. White soldiers. Shoot, little bear. Or shit cup. You hide in bushes. See, Lightning, uh, maybe he's the Indian boy Captain Flagg was telling us about. Yeah, but first we've got to take care of this boy's arm. Why do you get some water and fix up a fire? Quick. Look, Joe, they're building a fire. Yeah, and I know that Indian boy, too. You know him? Sure. I've seen him up at Chief Wolfpaw's camp. His name is Little Bear. Well, let's get out of here pronto. Yeah. I got an idea, Pete. You mind my saying I was aiming to get even with Lightning Jim? Yeah. Well, this is going to be my chance. What are you going to do? I'll tell you later. Come on, let's go. Little Bear, your arm's all fixed up now. Little Bear, thank white man. Listen, son. Did you say you were shot by the white soldiers? Me go with raven and braves to hunt. Yeah? Chiquito, meet white soldiers. Big fight. Little Bear get full of ear and arm. He or the captain was right. Those redskins was hunting by golly. Yeah. Little Bear tired. 
sleep now. So tired. That's right. You get a little rest, son. You'll be all right. Poor little feller, he's so tuckered out. Yeah. Say, Whitey, notice anything peculiar about this lad? Yeah, peculiar. Yeah, you've seen lots of Indian boys, haven't you? Oh, sure. Take a good look at him. Tell me what you think. See, I was so busy, I didn't have time to notice much. But now I take a good look. He ain't got high cheekbones. That's right. And his skin looks pretty fair for red skin. Right again. And he talks pretty good English, too. Yeah, almost as good as yours, Whitey. Oh, is that so? Well, nobody can say my English ain't no good. Well, the only difference is he talks English with an Indian accent and yours is Swedish. Say, hey, Whitey, this boy is a white boy. May have some Indian blood in him, but he's mostly white. Yo, but then what's he doing in a sheep wolf post camp? Dunno. That's something we gotta find out. <laughs> caught me. Me casa. Who this white man you bring wolf ball camp? Ah, uh, come here, Pete. Oh. Chief, this is my partner. His name's Pete. Howdy, Chief. Uh, Wakita. You got many gun on horse? Yeah, Pete got him in Abilene. It was him who got me out of jail. Uh, Shahi. Good. Wolf ball need gun. White soldier. White soldier fight wolf ball brave. Kill some. Take some prisoner. When did this happen, Chief? Today. Brave go for a hunt. Meet soldier. Was uh, Little Bear with your brave, Chief? Washinka. Higashinka. Little Bear go with brave. Little Bear no come back. Maybe soldier take back to fort. No, the, the trooper didn't get him, Chief. How you know? Me and Pete saw him. Higashinka. You see Little Bear? Yeah. He was captured by two white men. Where Little Bear now? Down on Snake Creek, just this side of Arrow Rock. You can catch him if you hurry. Wolf Paul, go find Little Bear now. Kill white man. Washika! 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 Pretty slick idea you had, Joe. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do? Stay here till they get back and see the fun. The way Wolf Paul feels now... He's going to make it plenty hot for Lightning Jim. Benny, you want some more bacon, little bear? Little bear, keep full here in summer. You better now. Well, there's plenty to eat if you want it, by golly. <laughs> I think little bear's done right well, Whitey. He knows when to quit eating. That's more than I can say about you. Oh, you're just jealous, that sort. <laughs> what he funny? Roll big fat like Indian squaw. <laughs> oh, is that so? He's got your number, Whitey. <laughs> little bear like Whitey much. Hey, oh, I say, and I like you too, little bear. But you make funny faces. Make little bear laugh. <laughs> oh, that's what I said. I guess that'll hold you, Whitey. All right, then here I thought you <laughs> was going to be my friend, little bear. You want to be friend of Whitey. Well, then don't say I got the funny face. <laughs> Personal, I think that's a mighty good face. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> By the way, little bear, is Chief uh, Wolf Paw your father? Kanigi, he thinks so. Did uh, you ever live with white men? Live with white men? Yeah. No, live with white paw and brave. What's the matter, little bear? Indian behind trees. You believe me? Lightning, there's redskins all around us. Don't move. Keep calm and let me do the talking. Chief Wolf Paw, come for me. Take it easy, son. How, Chief Wolf Paw? Chagachinga, white man, no move. Many Wolf Paw brave behind trees. Ready, kill white man. Hold on, Chief. We are friends. White man not friend, Wolf Paw. White man kill Wolf Paw brave. Hurt little bear. 
Wolfpaw, take you back to camp. Wolfpaw, show white men what Indian do to enemy. What is Chief Wolfpaw planning to do with Lightning Tim and Whitey? The exciting climax of this thrilling adventure will come in part two, which will follow immediately. And now for part two of Lightning Jim Meets Little Bear. Kansas Joe, an outlaw and Indian gun smuggler, escaped from the jail at Fort Anderson, aided by his partner, a bandit named Pete. They head north for the camp of the renegade Indian chief, Wolf Paw, followed by United States Marshal Lightning Jim Whipple and his deputy, Whitey Larson. On the trail, Lightning Jim and Whitey find an Indian boy who had been wounded in a fight between some of Wolf Paw's braves and the troopers. Joe and Pete see Lightning and Whitey with the Indian boy and rush to tell Chief Wolf Paw, who brings back a party of Indians and captures the marshal and his deputy. We join Lightning and Whitey in a teepee at the Indian camp, where they await their fate. Well, Lightning, seems like we don't have to look for Chief Wolf Paw's camp anymore. Yeah, we found the camp, all right. We've got to do some fast thinking and get out of this mess. Yo, that Wolf Paw Yeager's plenty, man. Well, this is what we get for being good to that little Indian boy, Little Bear. Well, we did it, and that's that. Hey, she lightning. Uh, what do you think they're going to do with us? Uh, it's hard to say, Whitey. Red skin like wolf paw might do almost anything. Might burn us at the stake. Oh, lightning, don't talk like that. I like the uh, stakes, but I don't want to be one. Well, then you get your thinking cap going. Oh, if we could only figure some way to slip out there. Listen. Stop dancing. Yo, he... See, there's a hole on uh, this side of the teeth. Well, let me see. Yeah, here. It ain't big, but you can see through it. Yeah. Chief's talking to a couple of white men. Uh, white men? Yeah. Thunderation. But the trouble. One of them white men's Kansas Joe. Kansas Joe? Yep. It's him, all right. Let me see there. Well, I'll be dog. What do you know about that? Looks like my hunch was right, Whitey. Joe came up here to hide out. Sure, that's all. And if he has any influence with the chief, we got plenty to worry about. Listen, chief, I'm telling you. These two white men you got are the ones that put the troopers up to fighting your braves. Uh. They're law badges. They'd put you in jail, too, if they could. Uh. Chief Wolf Paw, no go, white man jail. And you better get rid of them now. Yeah, burn them up to space. Because he... No, no. White men, help, little bear. He's lying to you, Chief. We seen the marshal and his deputy capture the boy. No, no. Kagashinga. Little bear, hold tongue. Yeah. Them hombres was going to take little bear to jail, Chief. How you know? Well, well, we heard him say so, didn't we, Pete? No. Sure. Don't want to see white men die. Kagashinga. We were Gino. Little bear, go teepee now. We know what to do with white men. Sure. You know what to do with them, Chief. Burn them. Kanigi, we he saw. Uh, Wolf Paw have other plan. Yeah? Send Raven to Fort. Tell soldier Wolf Paw free. Two white men. If soldier free, Wolf Paw brave. Oh, but you can't let these two Jaspers go free. Still get more troopers to come back and fight you. Sopawata. Uh, Wolf Paw not afraid, soldier. If brave not go free, Wolf Paw. Kill two white men here. Listen, Joe. If the troopers agree to exchange the prisoners, Lightning will go free and he'll be after us pronto. Yeah. 
But before that happens, we'll find a chance to drill the law badgers ourselves. One of the Redskins. Quiet. Somebody in back of the TV. Listen. Wait. Thank God I saw Drake lift the bear outside. Yeah. Is that you, little bear? Little bear come to help, white man. Good. What is it, son? Bad white man. One chief from Burma at the base. You can hear me. What did the chief say, little bear? He sent Raven to the fort. Tell soldiers we'll see you as brave go free. Yeah. Little bear go now. Come back soon. Now yeah. wait. Hey, Pete. Never mind, buddy. Is gone. You think the troopers will let the Redskins go free? It all depends on whether Captain Flagg believes we've been captured by Wolf. Hey, you and what you say, Captain, don't believe it. Uh, I'll let you answer that one, Whitey. Yo, I know the government may be looking for a new marshal and a new deputy. <laughs> Marshal at Wolf Paw Camp. You mean to say Wolf Paw is holding them prisoners? Uh, chief free white men, soldiers free brave. Ah, so Wolf Paw thinks he can trick us, eh? Well, now listen. You go back and tell him I don't believe he's captured Lightning Jim. <laughs> It's making plenty noise. Yeah, reckon Joe and Pete brought him fire water. Yo, see, I wonder what happened to Lisa Bell. He said he was coming back. Yeah, and I think he will, too. He kind of likes her. See, see, listen. Wait, man. What is it, son? Then there's plenty of firewater. Plenty drunk. Yeah. Mr. Bell, tell him you're outside. She's got the scene. That's good. He told the Redskin there was guarding us to go see the sheep. Good boy. Little Bell, take white friend's horses down to water. Near big white rock. You go now. By him and he know we can get out there. Yeah. Little bear's cleared the way. Come on, buddy. Yeah, that means we ain't got a second to lose. You say the two white men got away, Chief? Yeah. White man leave teepee. Get horse. We'll fall catch white men and kill. Gita! We're going to clear out of here. Chief, we're well, blaming this one up. Yeah, he's plenty mad. But we can't go, Pete. If we go now, he'll think, sure, we did it. I sure wouldn't want to be in light and gym shoes. <laughs> if them Redskins catch up with them, it's the end of them law badges, all right. I told you I'd be getting even with them. I wonder how they got away. Put hey, put, put that gun down. The Indian boy, he's got a right. White man, put up hands or little bear. Shoot, Barcada. Put him up, Pete. He's got that drop on us. Hold on, let's... Oh, boy, hold. Nathan, hey, listen to them yeet just yell. Yeah, we better head around this canyon. Yours, we might get trapped down there. I can't let him. 
Look, let's come in over that ridge. It's the troopers. Come on, Wadi, let's meet them. Up thunder. Hurry up, Lightning. I hope we get there. Hurry. Hurry up. Go, Thunder, go, boy. How did it happen? How many men you got? Well, there's a hundred redskins. Oh, yes, coming over that ridge. Yes, sir. That's all right. We're on high ground. They'll have to come up to us if they want to fight. Let's see. Here they come now. Ready, men? When I give the word, fire. Fire. Fire! Fire! Yeah, a big wolf falls had enough for one day. Well, Lightning, now that the smoke has cleared away, maybe you can tell me what happened. Captain, do you remember telling me and Whitey that you saw an Indian boy with that party of redskins uh, you met yesterday? Yes. Well, we found that boy over on Snake Creek. He was wounded in the arm, and we fixed him up. Is that so? Yeah, and then a trouble started. How's that? Chief Wolfpaw and his men found us and took us back to the camp. Uh, so Wolfpaw figured he could bargain with us to get back the Redskins we're holding at the fort. That's right. Did the messenger come? Sure, but I didn't believe him at first. Not until he pulled out your marshal's badge. Then I figured he was talking straight and started up here with my men. But how did you escape? <laughs> Indian boy helped us do that. Oh, I tell you, if it hadn't been for Little Bear, we'd still oh, be up there in the Redskin there. Camp. Yeah, You've been in there. Why, it's Little Bear. Yo, hey, look who he brought with him. Can't to show that other Yager, by golly. See, the kid is holding a rifle on both of them poor cats. Little Bear bring bad men to white friends. Good for you, Little Bear. What is the meaning of all of this, Lightning? <laughs> Captain, you didn't give me a chance to tell you when we got up to Wolf Paul's camp, we found a man, Kansas Joe. And here he is with the man who helped him escape. <laughs> and this Indian boy catches him, eh? Well, I'll be switched. Okay, Doc. <laughs> We get him good with rifle. Keep rifle on both our way. These soldiers, come here. I'd like to get my hands on that little devil. Yeah, me too. Well, you won't, Joe. You ain't escaping the law again. Whitey, give me your badge. Uh, my, my badge? That's what I said. Come on, hand it over. That's all right. Uh, her dish. Little bear, I ain't got a medal to pin on you, so I'll use this badge instead. There you are, son. What's this for? By helping save me and Whitey and capturing Kansas Joe and his partner. You're just a lad, but you've done a man's work. Yo, that's the truth, lad. He wants yes, to sir. stay with Mike Marshall's friends. Little Bear not wanting to go back to work, Pa. All right, Little Bear, we're taking you back to Fort Anderson. And we'll see that you're well taken care of. <laughs> How's that? Little Bear like that. Now can laugh when Whitey makes funny <laughs> face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's it. <laughs> And so ends another thrilling adventure in the lives of United States Marshal Lightning Jim Whipple and his deputy, Whitey Larson. Mm -hmm.